When was the last time we had ice like this? 15 inches and I'm not even at the bottom. And days like this, sunny, no wind. Well, that was yesterday. Today it was slower. Wind came up hard early morning and uh, the bike kind of turned slow and the water was splashing in the holes. When you get days like that, it's best to be inside the pressure cracks and not have to navigate them in that wind. I see some pretty odd things videoing so much under the ice. I rarely see one of these on Simcoe. A monster smallmouth bass out for a winter cruise. They don't eat very much in the winter time, if at all, and very rarely see them out cruising, particularly high in the water column. Typically you find them in wintering holes ranging from 50 to even 100 feet of water. In smaller lakes, sometimes they really turn on at one point during the winter time. But that's the exception, not the rule. Whitefish have been on a tear for the last week or so, but the uh, new pressure system seems to turn them off a little bit. Vibrato in 3 8 ounce and half ounce have been incredible the last few weeks and for the last two years for that matter on both whitefish and trout. This has become the go-to lure for whitefish and lake trout and even walleye now. It's best worked on the bottom, but you can see how to get attention by simply strobing it high and letting it fall. It flashes, it works both ways. This lure has accounted for about 50% of the whitefish, trout, and walleye that have caught over the last two years. So hopefully we have a lot of days like this to come. It's going to be a long winter. There's a lot of good ice. It's January the 18th and we've still got more than two months to go. Stay safe out there. Watch the pressure cracks and slam.